Here's a further video to demonstrate how functions really are first class objects. And we're going to do this by taking a pre-built function and then passing this as an argument into another function and then calling it. So just like how you might pass a function an integer, a string, you can also pass it a function. So what we're gonna do is do a quick function called func caller. Here we are. And then the first one we're gonna take in is something called func. We'll then take in a number here. Now what I'm going to be doing is actually passing in a function as this and then be passing in an integer as this here. I'm then going to do the operation of calling this function inside of this one. So what I can then go ahead and do is do return, and then do func, and then as if I'm calling this like a function, if I do func, open some parentheses, and then pass in num here, as long as this thing here that's passed in is a function, Python's basically going to call it for you as if you were calling this one here. So I can simply make a print statement, go ahead and then pass in func caller here, and then all I've got to then do is pass in a func and a num. And then for func, I'm actually going to take my add 10, paste this guy down here, and then let's go ahead and do 50 as num. And there we go, we see 60 here. So this is a perfect example of why a function is a first class object, just like how I can take an integer, which is also a first class object, and pass this to a function. I can also take another function and treat it exactly the same way. Suppose, for example, you want to do a bit of a check first to make sure that this is a function. You could say something like if callable, and then pass in func here, put a colon at the end, indent this underneath. Otherwise, we could just do go ahead and return num. So let's go ahead and try this again. No problem at all. Now I suppose I then go and pass in five here, which is not callable. And now we get 50 because we've now come down to this instead. So hopefully this is helpful and I hope this further cements the idea of functions being first class objects.